This is cute though from Jeannie. What she just uploaded her holiday, like during her holidays in 2018. Hopefully you guys had a great Christmas, New Year's, you know, holidays, honestly. See if he does it though, every time I go to sleep, I usually put my cover in over and he literally will sleep between my legs. See if he does it though. It usually does, but maybe because he's on camera, he probably won't do it. He's just like he has a comfortable spot. Um. Yo, what is up, Damn Nation? How are you guys doing? Welcome up to another CG's vlog. Sorry for that little short cut, but I'm eating some eggs, spinach, tomatoes, onions, and jalapenos. Mix them up a little bit with some crackers. I'm salted. Here with the dog. I'm trying not to give him food, of course. I'm just keeping an eye on him. I made a smoothie over there as well. I'm watching KSI's uh, mukbang, I guess. Just like to for boredom, but I'm honestly just loving KSI. Like, ever since like 2019 kicked, I mean KSI was just taking over so far the year because I mean he's getting tons of views. And you see me reacting to the video already, the reaction. But I mean he's, he's definitely making a good year for him for video content. Definitely because ever since he's uploading more. I started watching him more, and now each other day I'm just like happy that he's uploading. So, thank you, KSI, man. You're the you're hashtag this shit. You're definitely my number one favorite YouTuber right now in the world. So that's why you deserve my respect. Excuse me, but uh, man, just glad to watch your content. I'm just grateful to just watch you ever since 2013. But definitely a great person. I mean, I bet he just. He's a great guy, I bet. He's almost 20 million. Hopefully, he can reach that soon enough on his main account. Because this is recorded on the second channel, though. This KSI and Toby eating a mukbang. Like, just walking around doing random stuff. But definitely enjoying this on my day off, so definitely enjoying this right now. This one is just wild. <laughs> oh, your claws are hurting. He's a lunatic, man, I'm telling you, he's crazy. He's biting my fingers for some reason. Can you stop? Hey, stop. Stop. He doesn't care, he'll still bite my fingers no matter what. He's a perro. el perro. If you guys are OG people, if you guys don't know, I remember I used to watch anime besides Dragon Ball, the franchise Dragon Ball itself. I mean, yes, I've seen it, Dragon Ball. That's considered an anime, obviously. But if you guys don't know, I used to watch anime, or well, more hentai anime back in 2014. If you guys didn't, didn't know that about me, to all the people that don't know me well enough, I used to watch anime, hentai, specifically anime. My favorite one was To Love Are You. But I've gone back into Theta Live because my cousin, um, 
was telling me, oh, there's a season two or season three of, of Day to Live, but I think I remember a tiny bit of season two, but I'm re-watching it again, just because. I don't think you guys can see it, but hopefully I don't get a copyright. But yeah, I'm watching this one. But definitely a good one because I remember watching it like old time sake. <clears throat> definitely a funny, interesting anime. But I'm trying to get back on it once again because I haven't seen it in forever. I haven't seen it in like over years, three, four years now. It's a good anime, I think. It's called Day to Live though, if you guys are wondering, like I said. But yeah, I'm watching this anime though, by the way. I like it though, like I said. Once again, I like this anime. I know, I know this is stupid, but I get that the subtitle from this, the episode 6 from the anime that I'm watching till Day to Live. And it says tomorrow, September 23rd. Bruh, it's such a, it's my birthday right here, guys, if you guys don't know. That's my birthday, September 23rd. What a weird, what a weird coincidence. But yeah, I'm just, I'm on episode 6 already. I'm literally just trying to catch up on watching the anime, because like I said, the third season's already, uh, already on. She anime. This is between Real Madrid vs. Sevilla, Fecha 20 of La Liga. Carlos is injured, unfortunately, so Courtois is going to step in again. Even though he's just getting back from an injury himself. Let's go, Real Madrid. Come on, lads. We need a win so we can be in third place, possibly. Dude, I missed the goal recording, but I saw the goal, but it was amazing. I didn't know it went in, but oh my god, Casemiro. I have my doubts on you usually because you're always a bad person with fouls, but that goal was astonishing, man. Casemiro, man, you deserve it. <sighs> Still have time, though. Ten plus minutes. You just gotta keep doing this. Yeah, it's the guy You guys are having a great day. Today is the 23rd of January. Only eight months till my birthday, but unfortunately, today is XXX Tentacion's birthday. Fortunately, he would have been 21 if he's still alive, but RIP to you, X. You're definitely in our hearts and everyone else's hearts that support you, love your music. I mean, I'm surprised that. I guess the people that are with X are still making music for him, I guess. Like I saw a YouTube video, well not saw it, but I saw on his YouTube channel that he's still uploading videos over there. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, it's a little <clears throat> raspy or a little sore. My voice hurts just a little bit, but making some breakfast, spinach, tomato, onions, and some eggs as well. I'm, I'm doing that as well, just to, make, just to show you guys once again. But besides that, um, Hopefully, he, you know, just to everyone that supported X, you know, he's definitely, like I said, once again, he's in our hearts and prayers, you know. Fortunately that, you know, he's gone since of June 18, because um, I saw that Lil Wayne made a music video with X, obviously. There's that one song, I can't remember, I think it's called Don't Cry, so Don't Cry, and then they featured X, and then it featured, obviously, and it was uploaded right before his birthday, so happy birthday to you, X. You know, you, you would have been a great person. I know you were a great person. I know you were definitely, like I said, unfortunately, like, you have to die so soon. And then, of course, when um, I heard your, your songs, I started liking you. So now, after that, I just have so much respect for you. And I'll just, you know, happy birthday to you, man. RIP to you. You'll always be in our hearts once again. <clears throat> but also, more unfortunate news is, I think I heard a, a report that there was this new player that was going to go to Cardiff City. His plane um, was disappeared for some reason. I'm wondering what happened over there. Like, it is very interesting the fact that that happened. I don't know if the the pilot was, you know, getting involved. You know, maybe something happened. Like, who knows, honestly. Any, anything knows. But uh, prayers and support, you know, or prayers and condolences goes to, to the family, to the player that was supposed to go to Carter City. But unfortunately, he disappeared. But hopefully, you know, people will find him or police will find him. Whoever hopefully finds him and makes sure that he's okay. But... Yeah, it's just, I don't know, what's going on in the world is just so much crazy madness that's going on. I'm glad my hair is getting longer, as like I told you in the last vlog. I think, I believe I cut my hair. I mean, it's growing back still, but I'm still happy that my hair is still, like, right here, you know. Still top. It's growing as much as it possibly can. I still need to add that product, though, either way. Because I really want to grow out my hair. I really want to make that Gareth Bell style, you know. But, I mean, it's like this, just, I guess, because this is, like, I guess how it's going to look for right now. 
But hopefully I can just change that up. But I do have a surprise for my dad. Because my thanks to my sister, she helped me with this as well, with this um with surprise. So I bought tickets to Houston or to um to go watch the Elimination Chamber 2019 here in Houston, Texas, in the Toyota Center. And hopefully my dad does go because he he told me last year, or at least near the end of the last year, that you one day we will go to a WWE live, you know, show. One day and hopefully he, he can do that, you know, one day, both of us going to Dallas, or I guess, he only said Dallas, but I'm not sure about Houston, though. I mean, it's a f maybe four-hour drive from here, <clears throat> but who knows? I mean, depends on the traffic, too, but who knows, honestly, if it would go. If not, I mean, I could I have an alternative idea, but I would really want my dad to go, though, because, you know, he wants to go, and I'm like, we have to go, because, you know, you asked for this, and I promised you this. And I used this app to download the tickets, and I already purchased them already. It was like three hundred eight dollars, I believe, for both the, you know our our tickets to go there. Um, but I'm just looking forward to going. You know, like I already tweeted it as well a couple days ago. If you guys didn't saw me on Twitter posting, that, oh, this is gonna be my first WWE live event to go to the Jonah Center. It's gonna be such a great experience. I just I just feel it. I just have a feeling. Besides, so after the Royal Rumble, um, it's gonna be on the 17th of February, Sunday, February 17th. I think we're supposed to be there at 5.30 because that's I think that's when the show opens. But I think doors open at 4.30 either way, though. We'll still be there early enough to just catch most of the show or all of the show, I guess. So I'm just really looking forward to just doing that. And I really hope it works out, you know, because my dad really wants to go to a WWE show. And I'm like, I mean, this will be our first time going to a show. And I'm trying to see if I can do it a second time. But for right now, this, this at least this is a good one. Obviously, this is a pay-per-view. And especially since you guys already heard that there's going to be the... The um, women's tag team championships are going to be declared a winner in the elimination chamber, so it's going to be a historic event, I guess, for both of us and all of us, you know, for WWE fans to crown who's going to be. I think my prediction is already going to be Iconics. I just feel like Iconics are going to win it for some reason, but if not, then still great for whoever's going to win it. But it's going to be great to well, to tell him about the the tickets. So hopefully he goes. Oh well, I mean. I wasn't expecting that much anyway, but at least I went one level higher than I usually did. I'm a level, well not level, but I survived, I barely made it to level 9 on on zombie solo, but cause I'm not really good at playing it, I just play it for the fun of it. But I did my best, I got 133 kills and 31 headshots. So it's currently the next day, I know I didn't record too much besides me just playing COD. Doggy, shh, I'm trying to record here. So you guys, as, as I said, it's the next day, nothing much going on, got my Balor sw jacket, sweater, whatever you can call it, I'm actually going to go outside and take the dog for a walk, is that a good doggy, you want to go for a walk, 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 well I am, I actually am going to take the dog for a walk though, for real, I'm actually, because it, it seems like a decent, it's better than yesterday, that's for sure, it was, it was a little chilly out not as much as it was, I think, a couple days ago. It was definitely really, really cold. But I'll see if I can go outside and walk the dog for just a little while. Maybe just like 20 minutes or so. But hopefully you get some rest from that. And then obviously I'm going to watch the Real Madrid versus Girona game, which starts at 2.30 today. At least Barcelona lost, so that's awesome for that. Don't worry, I want to take you for a walk. See, it's such a beautiful Thursday afternoon. It's 1 p.m. It's a bird over there. The guy's walking the dog for just a little bit, doing his thing, having fun, running around, walking around, whatever he's doing. Trying my best to just keep him tacos. Definitely needs to be trained because he can go crazy and if all I know he could just escape just like that. Oh man. <laughs> Currently watching Lance's vlog right now. Uh, they almost caught him like caught him in there. Oh shit. He's gonna try to sneak in there, like you know, stay in there for twenty four hours. Yeah, he's gonna get caught, I just know it. He's finally 
NXT champion, at least NXT North American champion for Johnny Gargano. He finally won a championship on his own. Congrats to Johnny. But props to Ricochet for a great match between both of these guys. Great match. Five stars all the way for me. Come on, AJ, you got this. I believe in you. Talking. This is where I'm going, Houston. I'm going to see that. Elimination Chamber. Hopefully my hair grows real more bigger. Tell me guys if it's, I cannot tell if it's any different, but it's growing. Little by little it's growing. It's already, my hair from a while back has grown back. I think it's been like maybe two weeks since I got my hair cut, maybe or so. Eventually we'll get it cut it again. Hopefully my just progress for this. Hopefully this grows even longer. This is so far I think the highest it can go. But who knows, man? We're gonna find out a way to put some stuff on there. Just I guess just time and consume time consuming and stuff stuff here and there. Hey guys, if you guys um did not hear, I will be going to Elimination Chamber. I said this on my live stream as well. If you guys did not watch my live stream, um should be on my YouTube channel. If not. Because I know it's some issues, you know. Uh, if you guys aren't able to watch it, totally fine. Um, thank you guys for your support either way. I know I've said this so many times and, you know, it's annoying and whatever. But I do continue, I can't thank you guys enough for just even, even if it's just streams or videos or whatever it is, if it's good or bad. I'll still love you guys for just being supportive to me and understanding the fact that what I do is what I do for a reason. But Real Madrid will be playing against Girona today, which I'm looking forward to. Second leg. Be able to watch it with my dad. Hopefully, the Real Madrid wins. But besides the point, um, well, besides that, um, so yeah, I did say that I'm gonna go to Elimination Chamber in Houston. So my dad's already getting being okay with it. He's trying to see if we can get a a bus to there. You know, tickets to go over there. I don't know if we'll, we'll probably consider going to um, a hotel. He, they're considering if maybe we'll be staying there for a full day in. Houston, I don't know, like leave Saturday evening or Saturday afternoon, whatever the case is, and go on sun to be there on sun, uh, Saturday night, you know, stay at a hotel and stay a full day in Houston and like explore the scenery and whatever, whatever the case is, you know, enjoy the show, obviously, which like I said, tickets are already paid for for the show, for the Elimination Chamber 2019, it's going to be amazing, the experience is going to be fun, I know my dad's going to love it, hopefully this will... Make of just the uh, because he was a, he was a little upset because it's like it's too expensive you know three hundred plus dollars for tickets hell no I mean that's not at least it's not like really close I mean oh man if only I had that much money but still at least this is good enough for me just to say thank you dad for just being such a great dad and being able to help us with everything and just being there you know I'm, I want to do the same thing this is for me saying thank you and God bless you you know dad you're amazing and it's, I wanted to do this for Valentine's Day but I'm also just surprised him even sooner. This is a, you know, happy Valentine's Day, Dad, you know, love you, Dad, you know, you're the greatest dad that I've ever had, you know, that I've ever had, ever, you know. <sighs> I'm ranting too much, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to prove a point, you know, that I really do appreciate my parents, you know, and my, my dad, of course, for just doing what they, you know, they can do to just do to support us and love us and care for us and whatnot. But hopefully this will make it up for him. So yeah, guys, a lot of games starting right now. Girona versus Real Madrid. We're up two goals ahead. But if they score two goals and we don't, then we're out. We need to win this game. Otherwise, you know, we're just out of the Copa del Rey. I mean, honestly, I think this is our last chance of winning any trophies at all. Because this La Liga, not likely. Copa del Rey, possibly. Champions League, not likely. This, this season was just a tough season, very downfall. Oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Dude! Come on, Ralph! Come on! What was this? Look! Dude, I, I almost went in for a second, and this. I'm like, damn, they got lucky! We're literally close away to Elimination Chamber. I know I keep saying it, but I'm just really, really excited and nervous as well. But I also bought bus tickets so we can go from Dallas to Houston and then back Houston to Dallas. So I'm really looking forward to it with my dad. He's really excited too. And hopefully this goes very, very well. So God bless and hopefully everything goes well for both of us. And have a good time to go watch the Elimination Chamber 2019 at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It should be crazy.
amazing hashtag D shit. It is just mind blowing at the fact that it's already February and it's not even cold. It's like literally 61 degrees, if not 65, somewhere around the temperature. I just got back from the gym, got my bag. I'm just very surprised at the fact that it's still nice outside. It's already like past 7 p.m. Missing Smackdown. Goddamn. It feels weird. It feels nice outside. It's like already, like I said, it's already 7 p.m. The fact that it's just so cool is what I'm just surprised about. Sorry, guys, that I haven't been posting my vlogs lately. <clears throat> I don't know, just. I guess I just wasn't really in the mood, but I guess after now that um, next week, next Sunday is going to be the day to go to Houston to go see WWE Elimination Chamber. Just the hype of it, I'm just so excited, I'm very nervous, I don't know what to expect, but I'm very looking forward to it, and I hope my dad is too. Like, it's just going to be like a great moment for both of us to just go and see and explore, you know, a little bit further besides like any places that I've been to, you know, I've been to Dallas before, been to Bikini before, Frisco, you know, a couple cities that are around here where I'm from, but Houston is definitely more further. I mean, Mexico, of course, you guys see me in my Mexico vlogs, but Houston, I know it's not like, like, I guess not like, oh, Houston's the biggest one, but I guess for me, this Houston is like just a whole different city, just for me. Because Dallas is big, but Houston apparently is bigger. So I'm just looking forward to that vlog, which will be next week, hopefully, to just enjoy it and just record some stuff. You know, I'm not going to record a lot, but I recorded a good amount. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I'm watching KSI, by the way. I'm trying to catch up on my YouTube since I, I worked early today. But yeah guys, I hope you guys do enjoy the vlog. I mean, I know this is probably like a bunch of videos all together because like, it's from different days. But like I said, it's ever since, um, I can't remember the last time I vlogged, but it was in the beginning of, no, near the end of the month. So you guys will see like a lot of stuff in the video. But hopefully you guys have still enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a like. Social media description, previous vlog as well. <laughs> I'm literally watching here, so. But I'm very happy that Real Madrid beat Atletico 3-1. 3-1, sorry. 3-1. This is awesome. We're in second place. We're five points behind Barcelona. Hopefully Barcelona loses or ties and we will catch up to them little by little. We're going to come for y'all. Barcelona, we're coming for you guys. Second place. We're almost there. We're coming for you guys. All right, guys. Chris is going to ask you. See you guys in the next vlog. And peace.